All right, welcome back, folks. So this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to combine two articles that Rod has written, parts 18 and 19, the union operator and the joint operator. And I'm only doing that because it's somewhat similar functionality. We'll discuss the differences here in just a second. So let's move over to... First, we're going to talk about the union operator. Here, we're essentially combining data from two different tables. So in this top example here, we're taking data from the security events table, combining it with data from the heartbeat table, and then basically summarizing the number of computers, how many times they occur in both of those tables. So it will give you something like this. Uh, you can do it with multiple tables. So this one, we're using the security events table and combining these three tables and doing the same thing, uh, counting the number of occurrences of each computer name. That's union. The takeaway there is we're combining data from two or more tables and displaying it, uh, the results together. So the top part here, this is straight from Rod's uh, blog entry. Union combining data from two or more tables. So when we talk about join, uh, join, we're picking more specific results. So uh, specific rows from two tables based on uh, a value of a column. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So in this example, we're taking data from the security events table, joining it with data from uh, the heartbeat table on a common column named computer. We want to filter it where the event ID is equal to 4688. And then from those two, from all the rows that match that criteria, we want to project the computer OS version and so on. So this is what this would look like. Union probably used to get you in the right direction for some specific data. Join used more to uh, really hone in and on specific data that you're looking for. All right, so that is Union and Join. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the last, I think that's the last episode, um, creating an analytic rule.